All right, here we have a 2015 Ford F-250. This is a crew cab long box truck with a nice color match topper. It is a 6.2 gas with 34,000 miles on it. It is one owner, it was government owned, so it was fleet maintained, um, <clears throat> which is usually a pretty good sign because uh, you know everything to them is an investment. So you know they're gonna keep up on oil changes and uh, regular maintenance that just helps extend the life of the rig. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, crew cab long box, four wheel drive, 6.2 gas, really gorgeous truck. Um, for a work truck, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's got, you know, that nice red color. Uh, it's not white like 90% of the other ones. Um, yeah, and all in all, it is just in fantastic shape. So we'll come back around here. We'll go to the front because that's where we always start. So it is an XL. However, it does have power locks, power mirrors, power windows. So you can see your locks are right there, your window controls, and your mirror controls. These mirrors are, they are super duty tow mirrors, uh, but they do not power fold and they do not power extend. They do manually fold and they do manually extend. So you can see where they were sitting there and where they're no longer sitting now. So just takes a little, <clears throat> a little push and those grow right back in. As you can see here, we got nice cloth interior nothing you know super worn out the cushions are all in really good shape there's no major stains no no stains at all um no tears you know nothing of that nature so over here we got our headlight controls on off and then our dash dimmer switch there this is telescoping and tilting oh, it's hard to do that with one hand sorry uh, manual front seat with lumbar support and we'll hop in here and fire it up you can see there 34,280 miles so hardly even broke in um, you know especially for these 6.2 gas engines they're a phenomenal motor Ford's been using them since 2011 and they are truly a tank um, you know, they're just real hard to kill. As long as you take care of them, you know, I've seen them with four or 500,000 miles on them running beautifully. So, fires right up. No weird sounds, no clatter, no clank, nothing like that. Over here, you got your cruise controls. So cancel and resume, on, off, and then set. These are your, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, dash controls. So you just go to info here and it changes what you want to look at there. Um, you can see there's a couple of trips and fuel economy. Here is your radio, pretty straightforward, AM, FM, CD. Um, this does not have Bluetooth or hands-free. So like if you click this button, it says no phone. That means that there is, it's not equipped. Over here, you got your shift on the fly, four wheel drive two high, four high, four low. So, and then if you pull this out, it's an electronic locking rear end. You can see the little icon there, push it back in, it goes away. Go into four high, shifts right into four high, no issues. If I go to neutral, vehicle is stopped, foot is on the brake, go over to neutral. There we go, we're in four low, advanced track is off. So four low is only for crawling. Um, four high is for, you know, if, you're on slick roads, as long as you're under 55, you can kick it right into four wheel drive. So, um, yeah, just good things to know. Right here you got your integrated trailer brake controller. So these adjust your gain, how much output is being put to the brakes on the trailer. And then this is obviously the brake for the trailer. You got a nice little coin holder there. Get a 12 volt outlet right here. A nice little cubby underneath that. Here you got a couple of cup holders up front. The center console here also has cup holders. It's got a nice center console up here. This one does not have 
the center console in the bottom of the seat, but it does have the center row. Um, yeah, there's nothing under there that doesn't fold up in this truck. We'll go to the back here. Show you all that. This has got really nice running boards on it. Um, I really like them. Oh, I hope we were unlocked here. There we go. So, nice, nice running boards. I really like these because they got like the heavy kind of cleat pattern. And uh, they're really good for kicking off your feet when they're just covered in snow or mud or dirt. Um, nice clean door panels. You know, nothing super hammered. Nice clean back seats. Uh, oh, th that fell out. Sometimes those uh, don't stay in there all the way when you fold that up. They kind of fall out. Bottom of the seat does fold up. As you can see, nice clean. You can get storage under there. Um, there is an option. They do have trays that uh, bolt in under here. So like you can see that gap under there. You can get a tray that eliminates that gap and makes that storage cubby just a little bit deeper. So if we look behind the seats, see back there is your tire iron. And then on the other side there is your jack. So that's the rear portion on this side. These do open over here and you get nice access to in there it's got a decent bed liner it does have floor mats in the back of it i personally don't uh put floor mats over vinyl floors um, just because they tend to scratch and uh, if you don't have them secured right they slide around so they are back there they go with the truck um because they're for this truck so we're gonna lock these here just turn them and uh, we do have the keys for this topper. They're on the key ring of the truck. This guy right here. So this is a lockout. So when you can open it. You see it's got a plastic rugged liner in there. Um, they did cut holes out for something there. Not sure what they had. But obviously they did have something in the bed of this truck at some point. Uh, but this goes down and then uh, what you can do it's probably not in lock mode right now but you can turn this with the key and then you're able to push this in and it locks it so it can't turn at all um, it's locked out right now so it stays open but again another window over here got some decent Toyo open country tires they're not the best. They're not brand new by any means, but they'll still get you around for a little while. Come over to this side. And again, you know, nice clean interior. Nothing super hammered out. Uh, just a basic work truck. So, and I'm sure that's all it was used for. Just running back and forth for something. Could have been parts or, you know, other things, what have you. Um... Yep, there's your jack back there. So, yeah, just a really nice, clean work truck. That's really the best thing I could say about it. It runs and drives beautifully. It only has 34,000 miles on it. I mean, there's not anything wrong with this truck, and you wouldn't expect there to be anything with that type of mileage. Um, nice, comfortable seat there. We got the spare tire key as well as the owner's manual and all the information in there. There's your auxiliary line in for the radio if you want to plug your phone in. And then you've got another 12 volt outlet right there. Let's go back to the other side. So I can pop the hood and show you guys what's under there. So there's your hood right there. Just pull it up. And then for these guys, the grill does not come with. The hood pops up above it. And you reach right in between super and duty. And there's your little tab right there. There's our monster of a V8 stuffed in here. No squealing, no knocking, no banging, nothing like that. Um, we'll get on the ground here. Pretty clean truck. 
obviously a little bit of brown, but nothing major. It's all superficial right on the surface. Um, about what you'd expect for, you know, a rig that's been on the road for, shoot, almost 10 years now. Uh, yeah. So, 2015, three quarter ton, crew cab long box, 6.2 gas, one owner, good maintenance with only 34,000 miles. So, that's all I have for you on this one. Come see us up here in Athol, Idaho. Give our website a visit at www.familymotorcoidaho.com.